Uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland and this short video is going to detail how to generate a set of random numbers in Excel using the data analysis tool pack. But more importantly this video is going to focus on how to generate a set of random numbers uh, that follow a normal distribution. Okay. Uh, now, like in all the previous videos in this particular series, uh, the data analysis tool pack uh, can be found in one of the ribbons yeah, that come that are uh, provided here in Excel, and in particular the data ribbon we're going to actually go to. I've already turned on the data analysis tool pack, so the data analysis tool pack is available here on the right hand side, there's a button here on the right hand side here for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the data analysis tool pack. I've already generated random numbers previously, so it's coming up already by default random numbers. But there's a whole list of different things we could do here uh, through the data analysis tool pack. But for this video, we're going to make sure that we've selected random number generation. Okay, so I'm just going to hit OK on that. Okay. Now, uh, in a previous video, I've generated a sequence of uniformly distributed random numbers. But for this video, we want to generate a sequence of normally distributed random numbers. So what we're going to select is we're going to select normal yeah, as an option. Okay, uh, and let's say for argument's sake we want to we want to generate one list of normally distributed random numbers. Okay, so one list of normally distributed random numbers. Uh, so I'm going to specify one in here. In other words, we're generating one variable which is going to consist of a sequence of random numbers. How many random numbers do I want to uh, this list to contain? I'm just saying 23 here, for example. We could we could we could specify that we want 1,200 random numbers. But in this case, I'll just say 23 random numbers. Actually, let's say let's say 18 random numbers. Could pick any number at all. Uh, I've already selected the distribution that the random numbers will be selected from. It's going to be a normal distribution. But what we need to also provide is we need to we need to provide the parameters associated with this distribution. In particular, we need to provide uh, where we would like the distribution to be centered, and also what the standard deviation is associated with this distribution. So let's say, for argument's sake, that I want to simulate. Uh, let's say I want to simulate student exam scores as an example yeah okay and what I know is that from past evidence that student exam scores on my maths exam uh, typically have an average value of 56 percent in other words on average students score 56 percent on my exam now that's not to say that students won't score 90 and 95 and 99 or even 100 percent but on average they'll score 56 percent and let's say for argument that the standard deviation associated with my data set is let's say the standard deviation is let's say it's 15 okay so what we're really saying here is that my normal distribution should be centered on 56 and it should have a standard deviation of 15. Let's just keep in mind the empirical rule that's tightly coupled to the normal distribution. So what we would expect to happen here now is this, is that our numbers should be centered around 56 and within plus or minus 15 of 56 we should expect to see about 68% of the observations. In other words within one standard deviation based off the empirical rule we should see about 68% observ of observations. Within two standard deviations of 56 we should see approximately 95% of observations. And within three standard deviations, we should see approximately 99% of observations. So for this particular purposes, uh, our mean is going to be centered on 56, and our standard deviation is going to be 15. And I'm going to specify the output range, and I've already got it specified here. Let me just actually show you. We'll just click on a particular cell that we want the numbers to be listed under. So I'm going to say C4 here. And all I'm going to do in this particular case now is I'm just going to hit OK. So there we go. So what we've actually done is we've generated a sequence of random numbers, okay? But what we know about this particular sequence of random numbers is that it's come from a distribution whose mean is 56 and whose standard deviation is 15, okay? Uh, I could generate a different sequence, okay? I could generate a sequence of random numbers based off a standard normal distribution. Now don't forget, a standard normal distribution has a mean of zero and it has a standard deviation of one, okay? In other words, what we're going to generate here are standard, standard, standard scores, okay? And I'm going to generate 18 of them. So let me just choose this cell here, and what I'll do is I'll hit OK. And actually, there's a sequence of Z scores, or there's a sequence of standard scores, or more importantly, there's a sequence of random numbers that have been selected from a normal distribution, and in particular a normal distribution that has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one.
or really what we're saying is that this sequence of random numbers have been randomly selected from a standard normal distribution. So you're free to choose the shape parameters associated with your distribution, your normal distribution. You're free to choose where it should be centered. And you're also free to choose what its standard deviation is. So if you're interested in generating a sequence of random numbers based off a different uh, normal distribution, what I mean by that is a normal distribution that has a different center and has a different standard deviation. All you have to do in Excel is to provide those specific values. In other words, you have to provide the mean and the standard deviation. Okay, guys, uh, I hope this video was somewhat uh, helpful and in some way intuitive. Once again, my name uh, is Jonathan Lambert uh, with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. So thank you.